Hey guys, in this video, we are going to create amazing horizontal scrolling animation using Wix Studio. We are not going to use any code, just using Wix Studio's native features and it's amazing. Trust me, once you see this animation, it will take me like five minutes or so. Let's see how many it takes, but the process is very simple. It's very simple. Uh, if you look at these days, most of awards websites or any award-winning website, they are using these scrolling animations, right? As you, once, you reach, once you reach at a step, a section, it speaks and the animation starts scrolling, right? So that's what we are going to build. So just uh, look at here in my screen and if you want to follow, you can follow. If you don't know how to work with Wix Studio, then please go and check out my Wix Studio basics course on this channel that I uploaded a few weeks back. Uh, that will help you out with your studio basics and you can start building your sites okay so the first step so right now i have this section or dummy section here a blank section i don't need that the section i want to work within is this right i want this section to have a few images five to six images and i want uh it them as a horizontal right so what i'll do i will here i'll take this section first and on this uh, left hand side right hand side you see i want to make it a uh, advanced sizing by clicking these three dots you can make it as well advanced sizing and the height should be 150 vh it could be anything it's up to you but uh, I, I like to do it 150 vh and uh, what else do we need uh, in this section i want to have a sticky container which sticks at the top and my content flows right without anything so uh, i'll select this section and i will set its uh, overflow content to height so that when you publish your websites it does not overflow and does not show you that blank screen uh, on the right hand side extra screen right i don't want my content to be shown uh, below uh, above this or let's say out of this section right now once you set this first step we add a section and then we set its uh, height to 150 vh then now let's add a container here how do you add the container just right click on the section and here is the quick quick add inside that you see this container i'll select that container okay uh, i'll set it like uh, from top and left and uh, I'll also do advanced sizing again and width viewport width 100% viewport width and 100% viewport height so now uh, since it's 100% 100% viewport height and viewport width and I want this section to stick right uh, to, to stick to this section but this container to stick to this section so what i'll do i will just scroll down in the position section of this right hand side bar position type i want it to be stick top and zero percent from top right i don't want to put any offset or any margins or any pairings from top it's zero once it's reached at here it will stick let's review it and scroll our item if it works or not it sticks see it sticks there it sticks and my cursor if you look at here cursor is scrolling but the item is not scrolling okay we are halfway there and now i want to add some items here and let's say some items quick add i want to add some images i want to make the image size like this much okay and let's duplicate it by hitting ctrl d ctrl d ctrl d ctrl d three four times uh, or one more time let's say five five items uh, i will just select those images and i will add them in a stack right stack right click stack is like a flex box in wix studio mm, they just call it stack uh, i want them horizontally i want them horizontally and uh, i want to set its center and i want to have a uh, gap between those items is like 40 pixels okay so now it's 40 pixels and it's going there on that size and i will just 
explode here and I will from X I want to make it like uh, 140 just for an example so now if you look at this we have our uh, item here that is overflowing right overflowing to that one okay so now I want to set this tag in the middle of the container middle of the container it is it is there now just look at here the animation won't work now but just look at this see we have our stack we have these items and everything that we need okay uh, the next step is to add a line here or any item i would add a line here and i would set its line to be let's say what is the height let's keep the height 60 for demo purpose and i want its uh, from top doc, I want it 100% viewport height so that I know whenever I want to move the stack on when my section, when my container or the section, the scrolling enters this, right? Once this item enters into view from here, from the bottom, then my uh, this stack will move horizontally, right? So let's do it. Uh, select that line and go to this animation part now the best thing comes right that's what you are here for the animation right uh, we don't want to so just scroll scroll here click on the scroll click on the add an animated element and to its design no from its design to its design from its design to its design no we just want from its design here and we don't want the self. I don't want to uh, animate this uh, line. I want to animate the stack we have inside that. See, as you just uh, hover on any uh, element here, they will tell you which one you are looking at at the moment. I want this stack to move. Okay, what exactly you want to do? I want it to move, right? Okay, select this and adjust your animations. Here you can adjust your animations. Click on the adjust your animations at the bottom and I want it 270 because I want it to come from left, uh, right to left, right? That's what I want. And I want it like 50% uh, or 30% It's up to you. Let's say 30% or 20% at the beginning. And let's look at this it's, if it's moving or not. It's not moving because it should start at zero, right? Right now it's 50%. I want it to move zero and I want this to be here let's look at this animation is it working yes it is working see look at this it is working don't worry about this sticking at the moment you can preview that one when you are in your preview mode don't worry about the sticky but it's working okay here when I uh, reach the that section I want it to show it like this I want it to have okay not 20% let's say I want 40% uh, 40% of distance look at this look at this animation it's moving right and I, if you want it to become slowly then I just increase the space and just make it 50% and just look at this okay so now I think our animation is ready, the horizontal scroll one. Now let's preview it in our preview mode. Okay, so I'm here at the top and as I start scrolling, the item should stick. The container should stick. It is sticking. And as I scroll, my animation, the horizontal animation is showing up. Just look at this. Just look at this. You just have to walk with those uh, distance and from 0 to 100% things and all. Right here, I'm talking about this thing. I'll just click on edit and just click here uh, back on the settings animation area uh, what the animation area you want to keep right the animation area how much you want to keep let's say this much or I want it to be like 60% or so right then you can just change this stuff and it will work uh, so so what is left the only thing left is we have to make this line opacity line color to zero so that uh, nobody can see it but it is there you can access it from here uh, the layers panel inside this section you have a line 
you can access these and make your changes and you have your animation ready <laughs> right it just took us like within 10 minutes so we have created this horizontal scrolling animation which is very trendy these days uh, and you can use it on your client's project or your personal projects uh, so i think yeah that's it for this video and hope you have learned something out of this video if you have any doubts any queries any questions just let me know in the description i would love to help you out with that and uh, please subscribe to this channel so that it motivates me to create more videos like these in the future and also let me know if you want any specific video in the future bye